Hey guys, Brendan Fry here. Happy Tuesday to you. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the SteepShot iOS app. So that is for the Apple iPhone. Um, if you have an Android device, SteepShot has been available for your device for quite a while. So this is really just something new for iOS devices uh, for the iPhone and I believe also for the iPad as well. So as you guys probably know, I did a review about two months ago about SteepShot explaining what it is, how it works giving a quick tutorial of it and basically it's an Instagram uh, it's kind of like an Instagram for the Steam blockchain and they've done a really good job of, of putting together a uh, platform or an application built specifically for images and um, I think videos will be coming to this but right now it's just images uh, for the Steam blockchain so this is really cool now just as a reminder guys every video that I do I give away 20 US dollars worth of SPD so at the end of this video I'll be giving away 20 US dollars worth of Steam back dollars to a lucky person who upvoted and commented on my last video. If you'd like a chance to win that, uh, feel free to upvote and comment on today's video if you liked it. All right, guys, now before I get into this review or this tutorial showing you how to use this application on your smartphone, um, I just want to mention that if you guys want to get this, if you do have an iOS device and you'd like to be a part of the closed beta test testing, you can do that by going to this post here. It was posted 13 days ago. If you leave a comment for them, letting them know that you would like to participate in it, then you can do so. I will leave a link to this uh, post below. So for you guys who might have an iPhone out there and you want to test this out, maybe you're big steep shot fans um, and you, you want to start posting some more pictures just from your smartphone, I will leave a link to this uh, post below so that way you can leave a comment for them and ask to be one of their beta testers. That's exactly what I did and they responded very quickly. Um, also, let me just scroll down to the bottom of this post because there were a couple of updates on this post. Uh, curation progress. Um, they have now mentioned that they have three curators, uh, a group of three team members who are curating content on the SteepShot platform. And I've noticed this because almost every single one of my uh, posts that I do on SteepShot tend to get upvoted by SteepShot. So um, they are paying it forward. Now, as you guys know, SteepShot takes 15% of your curation rewards and your author rewards, um, so a total of 15% out of your rewards for using their platform. But one thing I've noticed with SteepShot is that they more than pay it for. They more than give you your money back with an upvote. So uh, you shouldn't be concerned about that 15% they're taking. Um, now, community, community status, some other updates here about Telegram and their Discord channel. So if you want to check this out, I'll, again, I'm going to leave the link to this below. Um, you know, also if you guys want to become a beta tester, you want to check out this, this post. All right, so let's just get right into it. This is my iPhone and let me pull up the app here. So I've got it under social and under steep shot. And as you can see, it's got that little red, uh, I'm sorry, that little orange circle to the bottom left of it, which shows that it's one of these beta testing apps, just like the steam app I have on here. So let me click on steep shot real quick. And first off, I just want to say guys, this is the most, um, the best, I should say, it's the best uh, application that I've used on my smartphone for the Steam blockchain. But this is definitely the best app, the best, like just, it just works and it works great and it's got all of its features built into it. I really, with this app, I don't feel like I'm missing anything that I would get on the desktop version, um, except for the fact that I could use my desktop computer. <laughs> um, so I think they've done an excellent job here. It's so similar to Instagram as well, so you're going to be able to use this flawlessly. So this is my feed right here. This is my, my friend John, uh, John G. Olson posted a picture of his baby boy, and he said, future Steam blockchain expert, which is pretty funny. Um, and then if you scroll here through here, it's again, it's similar to Instagram in the way that you know, it displays people's pictures. Now, if you go and click this world icon here at the bottom left, then it's going to pull up the hot, the new, and the top, a.k.a. trending pictures. So right now it's on the hot pictures, so you can see what other people are posting. Um, so there's a pretty cool car right there. Exit out of that. And let's go into the new, and then I'll go into the top section. So let me just go ahead and go into the top section. These would be, of course, the pictures that are getting the most attention, the most upvotes on them. So I'll scroll through, scroll through here real quick. Um, so pretty cool. You know, the only thing is it takes a little while to load sometimes, but again, this is built on the blockchain, so that should be expected to be a little bit laggy, but it's really not that bad. Let's click on this picture here. That's a beautiful shot in Hawaii, it looks like. It's got 29 likes. Now, one thing I do wish, if I could change anything about this app, is I would have the, um, 
the dollar amount showing underneath each post to show like, you know, how much money that post made. I think that's something that every single author wants to know. So that'd be cool if they could add that in there. Um, so I've gone through the first two tabs here, the home tab, which is my feed, this world icon, which is um, showing everybody else's stuff. Then we have the camera button down here, which is obvious uh, if you want to post your own picture. And then on the very, very right, you've got your profile here. Let me click on that. And this will pull up my bio and you know how many followers I have and my recent pictures. So as you can see, I just posted this yesterday, West Bay Beach, Roatan, Honduras, which is a beautiful, beautiful beach. Uh, Telluride, Colorado, uh, Gold Canyon, Arizona, Galapagos. So I'm always posting stuff. And by the way, guys, this is my Travelpreneur channel. So this is a completely different channel um, than my Brandon Fry channel. So if you want to follow me there, if you like looking at different places to travel to or just you know pretty pictures of stuff, Feel free to follow me there. I will leave a link to that profile below if you want to follow me there. There's a picture of my boss through to Mustang out in the White Sands National Monument, New Mexico. So anyway, so you can see I'm pretty active on here actually. Um, and so today I want to show you uh, me posting one of my pictures. And I just got back from Joshua Tree National Park in California. Um, I went there with my mother and my girlfriend recently, um, actually this, last, this past weekend. And so I've got a bunch of good pictures from there and I've already got one chosen that I want to post today. So let me just show you how this works on your smartphone. You'll just click the camera icon down here and then it'll pull up, you know, of course your camera on your phone or you can click down here in the bottom left, your images. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to go to camera roll and then I'm going to choose the picture I want, which is a picture of a Joshua tree at Joshua Tree Park. And then what I'll do is I'll click that arrow to the top right there. And then it'll let you put in your title, a description, and any hashtags you want to use. So for the title, for me, and I'm always doing travel stuff, I usually just put where I'm at. So I'm going to put Joshua Tree National Park in California. And then I'm going to put a quick description here. Okay, and I just put a great shot I grabbed of a Joshua Tree in Joshua Tree National Park. And usually I do take a little more time to write out a better description, but uh, we're going to keep it uh, short and sweet for the purpose of this video today. Now we can add our hashtags here, and it's going to pull up like the, the most popular hashtags for uh, Steemit. So you might want to use some of these, like photography. So I'm just going to click on that. Life, click on that. Travel is one. And let's scroll down and see if there's any other ones. Nature would be a good one. Photo would be another good one. And then, of course, you can write in any hashtags you want as well. So I might just put Joshua Tree. Of course, no spaces because it is a hashtag. All right, and, and that's all I'm going to do for this for the purpose of this uh, post. I'm just, just going to keep it simple today. So I've got my hashtags in there, got my title and my description in there. Then all we have to do is click the publish photo button at the bottom. So I'm going to click that now. All right, and after about four or five seconds, um, it finally posted. So now I'm just going to refresh my feed here, and it should show. So it shows 15, 17 seconds ago I posted this. Picture of Joshua Tree National Park, California. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and like it, or love it, or heart it, or whatever you want to call that. Upvote it. And there we go. So that's all that I had to do. So now let's, uh, let me show you this. Uh, if I go back to my computer here. So as with everything on Steam, the Steam blockchain, everything that's posted on any of these applications, DTube, DSound, DLive, uh, all these different apps, SteepShot, they get posted on the Steam blockchain, which Steemit pulls everything. So it pulled it over to Steemit as well. So, you know, people can check it out here if they wanted to. Okay. So very, very cool. And also I can pull up the SteepShot uh, web version, the desktop version. And if I go to my channel here, it'll show here as well. All right, right there. So easy peasy, guys. It's very easy to use. I personally feel that this is the, um, it's really one of the best apps that I've used for, um, for the Steam blockchain. It's, it's the best app I've used of, of any other app for any other application built on Steam. You know, I've tried uh, a few different ones. Um, you know, one that I truly do love that I use all the time is Steamify, but it's really just for Steam notifications. I've also, I'm trying another one called Steam App which is just for posting articles and videos and pictures and stuff on Steemit as you would like 
on steamit.com. There's an app for that as well, and I'm beta testing that one right now. I need to test that one again. It had some bugs last time I used it, but it, uh, tend, it, it I know they've been pushing a bunch of different updates out, so I know it's getting better. So I'll be looking forward to testing that some more. But SteamShot is one that has just flat out worked perfectly um, since I started using it. it. There's really nothing, you know, not much that I would improve on this. The only thing I would recommend doing is adding the dollar amount under here. So instead of just the likes, have the, you know, the dollar amount, so how much you're, you've earned for each post. I think that would be, uh, you know, beneficial to everybody. I'm sure everybody's looking for that. So that's the only thing I would really recommend. Otherwise, I think this is a perfect app. Um, nothing else I would improve about it. Okay. So if you guys have been wondering if they're going to be creating an iOS app for uh, us Apple users <laughs> for the SteepShot app, um, it has been created and they're just beta testing it. I'm not sure when it's going to actually go public. Um, I would assume it wouldn't be too long. I mean, they had the Android version working. It's been working perfectly for a long time. And so it's really just a matter of adding this to the, uh, you know, to the iOS platform and testing it out for a little bit and getting all the bugs fixed and stuff like that. And again, I don't think there's much to fix here. So I have a feeling they'll be pushing this out to the public very, very soon. But if you just feel like you just can't wait, then you can come over to this post here um, and join the closed beta testing group. I'm sure they'd be happy to send you over a link and let you, uh, let you do this yourself or use it yourself. So again, I'll leave links to all of this stuff below so you can check it out. Um, if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Guys, I'm always looking for suggestions uh, for different vid videos for, to do for you guys. So if you have any suggestions or any questions about anything, please let me know in the comments section below. This is what allows me to create videos that are really helping you guys. If I get people asking about something over and over and different people are asking me about it, then it tends to be a good idea for a video to do. So um, I'll definitely be taking suggestions, feedback, and um recommendations for future videos from you guys. So let me know what you want to see in the comments below. Um, now we need to choose a winner from yesterday's video. Let me go to that post now. All right, yesterday's video was all about delegation. That, that was literally the title of it. Um, and we were talking about how to delegate your Steam power to different projects out there, including my upvote bot, where you're earning 80% um, of the, the upvote bids to my bot. So I went over that yesterday, talking about delegation, how it works, what is it, because uh, a lot of people seem to be confused about how that works. So now I need to pick a winner, somebody who upvoted and commented on this post. Let's go over here to the picker tool and pick a random winner. All right, Aid Greenwise says, I found your vids really helpful so far. I think the progress of Steemit and how it will self-regulate itself is going to be interesting. Still getting my head around it. And yeah, and there's uh, quite, you know, the learning curve here with Steemit. If you're really, really wanting to learn everything, again, as I've said in other videos, you don't have to know everything, but it really is nice to know everything and what's going on here. So just take your time with it. Don't feel pressured to, to learn everything overnight. You don't have to fully understand the Steam blockchain in order to use Steemit, which is nice, um, but it is cool to, to uh, start learning how the Steam blockchain works and wrapping your head around some of it. And that's true. It's a good point you pointed out that Steemit is self-regulating. And so over time, different things will change and uh, you know, it's up to the community itself to police the Steam blockchain and make sure that it remains, you know, this this uh, utopian or this great place for everybody to be and share their content and earn rewards. So, anyways, thanks for your uh, comment. Let me make sure you did upvote that post, and they did. You can see their name right there, Aid Greenwise. So we need to go ahead and send you over twenty U.S. dollars with SBD, and today that is ten point nine seven Steam back dollars. Wow, so quite a bit. <laughs> so let's go ahead and send that over to you now. All right, that went through. So congratulations again, Aid Greenwise. And if you guys would like a chance to win that comment reward, uh, feel free to upvote and comment on today's video if you liked it. All right, guys, well, that's all for today. If you have any questions, uh, any feedback, again, if you have any suggestions for future videos, I would love to hear those. Uh, so leave those in the comments below. And until the next video, we'll see you soon.